the honorable panelists ikram cycle sahab janlali kuli khatak ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum pleasure to speak on this book launching i have been to all all the the first two also but this is very very unique because uh, i have linked myself with the third one which is the cocker formula and uh, the first chapter actually relates to in some way is connected with me i have known ikram cycle sahab since the year 2000 when i was commandant air war college but intimate interaction came in 2002 when i was ci national defense course and i was looking after the national security part myself and kamal aziz sahab we did the war course together and then i shifted later on to ndc when we were groping in the dark as to how to process national security i am being very honest about it we did not know how to process national security we didn't have a template with us the first template came when general s p shahid came back from america and he brought a template by ambassador blackwell and then i called over uh, ikram sagal sahab to help us and he brought a book with us that he had researched and he had gone deep into into the subject for our sake and for pakistan uh, by looking at Uh, Brzezinski by looking at the American national security policies, the rest of the world, and doing a lot of research, and then coming back, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to tell you that most of the ideas that Ekram Sagal Sahab left are taught even today in the NDU. Of course, not with standing that uh, not the entire credit may come to him. but recently i went to ndu and i talked to the president and i said look ye jo national security policy papers that you originate that that you finalize every year uh, 70 to 80% material was left behind by ikram sagal sir coming to what he has actually written in in this uh, volume i'll read an extract and then build a little bit on this in the preamble he says founded a little more than 50 years ago as one of the finest experiments in nationhood about pakistan of the 20th century pakistan entered the 21st century a truncated version of its original creation uncertain about its future its place under the sun its identity etc indeed it lacked a coherent vision for the future and omens and the symptoms we can see today of what he has indicated invisible disintegration of the national fabric has been so rapid that deterioration of our integrity is in advanced stage more than any strategic or tactical design it is a vagary of destiny the dictation the dictatorial mindness of a democratically elected prime minister that sort civilian coup countered by the military that uh, was to stop the rapid slide down to an abyss and then he went goes on to talk about what all happened and then he says it would be about general parvez musharraf wonderful to say that general parvez musharraf's military regime took over and a magical wand created a paradise overnight this would be a travesty of fact what the military regime did was commendable but in a relative manner it solved it slowed the momentum of disintegration stopping the country momentarily from becoming extinct pakistan very much remains an endangered species and we still do not have an inherent national security strategy the credit is to ikram cycle sahab that we are able to produce a national security policy document every year this was worth about 70 pages and he made a book and gave it to each one of us the faculty and the students well we read it some of us didn't read it but when it came, this book came to me i requested them to send me the pdf document and that is with me so i went detailed i i went into this document it's available with me with his permission anybody who wishes i can always put it in your inbox you know on whatsapp it to you uh, but his saying is ominous today ladies and gentlemen because we do not have 
a national security policy document except the first one that came from Dr. Muhyid Yusuf under Imran Khan. But uh, I happened to interact with Dr. Muhyid Yusuf because somebody said he, he needs some help. So I said, Dr. Sahib, do chizen, two things you must give guidance for. One, how do we put all these mobs that are warring with each other and that because of which Pakistan is relatively at war with itself. And number two, how do we reduce this insurgency to zero? No political party has these two solutions in their manifesto. I have raised this issue over and over again on all my groups on WhatsApp and we people, two stars, three stars, four stars, uh, federal secretaries, prime ministers, ministers, we seemingly don't have a solution what to do. And resultantly what happens? Every second week, third week, every month we are losing anything up to 10 plus wonderful jawans and lieutenants and junior officers. I think the army does a very good job. And if Azm Istakam is to come, I have said that on television. I think if it can come, I don't know whether it will be able to because public support is not there. If it is to come, ladies and gentlemen, these young officers and jawans will win Azm Istakam. But at a very big cost, sanctuaries this side of the border, sanctuaries now that side of the border also. So we will pay a price. But Probably because of what Ikram Saigal Sahib has said that we do not have the correct national security direction. So we are going to pay a very heavy price. Number two, the three big uh, institutions are absolutely on the collision course. What happens tomorrow, one week from now, three weeks from now, one cannot tell. And uh, obviously things are not too good. Will Pakistan be able to find the holy grail of its national security? Islam, Ikram Saigal Sahib has played his part. He has given us the blueprints. He continues to work day in and day out on these subjects. Uh, time will tell, but I think uh, the Kakar formula at least put off uh, what could have been worse than this uh, martial law. Uh, what Musharraf did, it pended off a disaster for a little time period. But to say that we have secured ourselves, my humble suggestion is no. Will we be able to find this holy grail? Uh, I, I, I cannot really foresee. But Ikram Saigal sir, thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, what you did for us at the NDU, I keep coming over and over again to pay this debt back to him because uh, Parvez Musharraf, when he made the president, he, and I'm using a very polite word, borrowed one of his ideas. And he presented this as, as his own. And Ikram Saikal Saab came and he complained to me. And I said, sir, I am a small two-star. I cannot do much about it. I, I'm, I, I've since forgotten what he said. He may like to dilate a little more on this. So that's the quality what Ikram Saikal Saab produces. This is the good thing that he has done to NDU. Three of his articles later on from the news were part of the national security folder that was taught to the officers uh, at NTU. What bigger contribution? And I think we owe thanks to Ikram Saigal Saab that he has done good to NTU, done good to me, done good to Pakistan. Wish him luck and I think we will do more. Thank you.